Hello everybody, it's John and today we're going to be talking or walking down the road of Judges Guild and I'm going to be looking at, for instance, the city-state <coughs> oh dear, city-state of the Invincible Overlord and I guess Wilderlands? Yes. So this is a wonderful resource that Judges Guild provided during its day and sadly I don't have a lot of it anymore but if you've got it hang on to it because it is truly a wonderful resource uh, for what it is it's it's really good so anyway let's go and have a look at what I've got of this and just what I think of what it is Hello everyone, it is John and we are looking at some Judges Guild material which one of my subscribers has made a reference to. And look, I'm happy if um, people want to uh, say in the comments about, look, have I got anything about uh, any of my material and I can share it with you. Look, I will. I'm quite happy to interact with anybody. And if I can share anything, I will. Look, I'm really happy that people do um, show some interest in what it is that I have. Now, uh, one of the things that came up was in relation to Judges Guild. And one of them was, I believe, the Invincible Overlord. City State of the Invincible Overlord, I think, or even the World Emperor. And look, sadly, this is all that I've got left. But what I've got left, I think, is wonderful. And I really need to get around to getting these maps, I think, laminated. Because, as you can see, time is starting to take its toll. It's starting to, uh, starting to wear. It's starting to crease. And I think if I don't do something, the crease will eventually, I think, turn into a tear. But the uh, maps are really... Wonderful. You can see that in these days, and I'm talking about, oh, when were these done? Um, these were done in uh, 1980. So in 1980, we were giving players, or Judges Guild were giving players, their own map, their own cartography map, with just basic information. So that when they go exploring, they fill it in as they go along. Because the Game Master himself, or herself, had all the details. Now, how many campaigns, even today, would give players their own resource, plus the Game Master's resource? Not a lot. Not a lot of them. This is what I really liked about Judges Guild. Forward thinking. You know, a lot of people scoffed because, you know, they were such, you know, a lot of them uh, would like, to, well, a lot of them, people sort of said, oh, they were cheap and nasty on the fly sort of production. But regardless of what you thought, they produced a huge volume of material that a lot of people used. And as a game master, if you could not use the material that they produced, whether or not it was good or bad, it still gave you the bone works with which you could make something of. Because that's all you need as a game master. If they gave you a city, whether or not the contents that were in the city were good or bad, you could do whatever you like with it. You could change it. You could make it better. You could suit it to your own needs. You could change the whole city itself because you've got the framework to do whatever you like. And that's what I love about all the stuff that Judges Guild produced was that, as far as I was concerned, it was a framework with which you could run with. And, um, you know, and certainly for the day, you know, there wasn't a lot of stuff. All they really gave you were names and stats and left you with everything. You know, they gave you literally the lines to write in with whatever you wanted to do. 
and that was it. And so the World Emperor, then you had over here we had the Invincible Overlord, and uh, oh look, we even had a bit of colour. You know, it was for their day, they were wonderful. They were wonderful productions. You know, I had certainly a lot more material for the Judges Guild stuff. But sadly, Queensland being what it is, we suffer a lot of flooding events. And sadly, my house um, suffered. Uh, I didn't know that my residence would flood. And it did. And uh, a lot of my stuff sadly got caught up and I lost a lot of the material that I had and uh, it's uh, very sad and of course trying to get any of the material now is sadly next to impossible because people seem to think that a lot of this stuff is worth far more than what it really is. Uh, yeah, greed is a dreadful thing. But uh, no, so these fantastic Wilderlands and beyond were the uh, were the other ones which just gave you the maps of surrounding areas and it was 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 really good again just the bare bones of what you could do in in the hexes in in you know they just numbered the hexes and what what you could find within them you know like in in hex 3029 five trolls have carved into the base of a map of the of a mountain of a fountain with a dancing girl and things like that so lots of things that you could work on and expand then in uh, what was this 2005 necromancer games gave us wilderlands of high fantasy which was home to the city-state of the invincible overlord well i had many hopes for this and uh Need I say that I've never really used this product. The maps were... Um, nowhere near the level of cartography that I guess the the first, like the Judges Guild maps are. You know, look, that's my personal opinion. Others may think that they're wonderful. But, you know, I... Uh, was really underwhelmed with the content. So, you know, you've got, I can't remember how many maps there are, I think there's 19, 19 maps, 19 or 20 maps in here. So there's 10, 10 double-sided maps, I think. And then there's these two big, massive books that literally are just set up for the Die 20 system with the contents. So all the hexes, uh, so you've got the city-state of the Invincible Overlord and uh, and things in there. I have never used the book. It's, yeah, it just never, you know, it was one of those things thinking, oh, yes, it was going to have what I hoped it would have. And sadly, I don't think it did what I wanted it to do. So, uh, but yes... All right, well, look, I will leave it there. This is, I guess, my small collection, and sadly it is very small, collection of my city-state uh, for Judges Guild and the, uh, and the Wilderlands map collection. Uh, there used to be so much more. But, uh, look, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for the people who interact with me. Look, if I can continue to... Um, find stuff that uh, you have an interest with, I will try and put it up and, uh, and give you as much information or show you what I've got. So look, thank you very much. Uh, until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.